make another video. A little bit of set this time. I got a little bit of voice. I got one day to work. That works tomorrow and then I'm off Monday Tuesday. But I'm upset with myself. The Bronx is back. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Oh, I got a chicken bone boot back. Oh. Slash review video. So we're going to review a beer. Drink a beer. It's a fucking work. It's like 4 a.m. Let's go home. Classic red and blue raisin. But I did find, I found a sandwich too. Sandwich. I'm not gonna review that. But like seltzer. Like cherry. Don't know if I had that one yet. This is what we're gonna try. But like seltzer retro tie dye. Cherry limeade. Cherry limeade. We're gonna try that fucking tonight. This is for bacon, like, eat shit, die. Fuck that. Put these in the fridge. We're gonna try these. Oh, I got one twisted heat, but. Oh, damn it. I still got half a. Oh, it's a Budweiser. Fuck. In the fridge, halfway full. Can't. Can't redo those. Half one of these is fine. Once you lose carbonation, you're good to go. Like, I mean, it's just like a wine after that. We can't do a standard beer. This is going in the fucking sink. Recycled. Ugh. The sandwich is going in the fridge, too. I can't fuck with that right now. Damn, I got a buzz balls in there. Ugh. And a key bourbon. So, Bronx is coming back. I had to fuck that week on the streets. Uh, I'm gonna loosen the belt too, maybe. Loosen the belt a little. Uh, gotta relax. My boy will make come out and like drink with him tonight. I'm like, ah, oh, I'm working tomorrow. And my beauty sleep. I'm I'm getting tired down there. I had half a fucking Red Bull tonight. I don't drink fucking caffeine. That fucking Red Bull like got me through the fucking night. But Scumbags come through. They fuck with you. I mean, I'm, I'm working on the streets of fucking Las Vegas with all the fucking crackheads and scumbags and drunk people. And the Bronx is coming back. Uh, I tried to hide it for so long. So long. Years. I worked at this other job for like 12 years, man. And I lost my whole accent. I had no accent. I did not want to be known as a guy from New York. People... I dealt with tourists, you know what I mean? And people hate, well, tourists, like, they have an idea of New Yorkers. Like, ah, this fucking guy, yeah. That's why I say fucking guy a lot, you know? But they're all like, ah, fucking New Yorker guy, whatever. But then, uh, I was worried because they had, like, Yelp, Google, all these reviews, like, sites and shit. You just be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And corporate would be like, yeah, 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 you can't be doing this to customers. So I toned my shit down to, like, 8%, 8% New York, um, when, when, when it benefited me, I would use it, you know what I mean, oh, you're from New York also, okay, yeah, I'm from this part, I'm from that part, when it benefited me, I would use it, nowadays, I'm using it for evil, you know, uh, people just get on my shit, you know what I mean, nah, fuck that, you're gonna do this, you're gonna do that, you're gonna do this, this is Vegas, we're gonna cut a deal, we're gonna do this, I'm like, Nowadays, it's like, I lost my filter. I'm like, fuck it, I'm working nights. We don't have a Google or Yelp review page, you know what I mean? We're like a really small company. So I can get away with a lot more shit. You know what I mean? Like, hey, get the fuck out of here, man. Just get the fuck out of here. All right, fuck you. Like, plus, I had way more foot traffic, and we were really slow for a while at my other job. But um, it's coming back too hard, you know? This is naturally coming back. Naturally, like... Telling people, go fuck yourself. Hey, go fuck yourself. Get the fuck out of here. But not, I don't know, I've learned from both sides. You know what I mean? Working a real corporate, like, kind of corporate job. Kind of corporate. We were a small company. We had, like, up to, like, 100 employees at one time. But you learn how to tell people to fuck off without telling them to fuck off. Now, I can just tell them to fuck off. And, like, plain English. Hey, get the fuck out of here. All right, hey, hey, you. Hey, hey, come on. 
You want this? Oh, wait, man. I, I thought I was to go fuck your mother. Get out of here. I'm like, you know, I could do kind of, I could do kind of shit like that. Cherry Limeade, Bud Light, Seltzer, Retro Tie-Dye. <sighs> I just got home. First sip of beer has since I've been home. All right. It tastes like shit. It tastes like a seltzer. Ooh, not bad, though. More flavor than most of them. I'm going to give them that one. Ooh, a little extra kick, too. But I can tell people to go fuck himself. You know what I mean? Plus, I'm on, I'm in, I'm in the middle of Three Mile Street. You know what I mean? Like, we're all the fucking monsters and, you know, shit is that. And then you can go fight with somebody else. You know what I mean? I don't got to deal with this shit. So I've been, I've been getting a lot more New York. New York. I've been getting a lot more New York. My, my accent comes back. Even when I'm not drinking, I'm sober. My accent's out there. It's, oh, I fucking hate it, but damn, it's back. And I'm not putting everybody shit. I think about pe- like people like, eh, fucking guy. Yeah, keep talking shit. I'll punch you in your fucking face. I'm like, I'm a grown ass man. I can punch people in the face more. Like, it's not a good thing. You know what I mean? Not a good thing. But I will punch a motherfucker in his face. So fuck you. My buddy took it a little too far. The kid I work with. I started showing him how, like, telling people to fuck off helps with sales sometimes. You got to know. And I guess he grew up near Chicago. So he gets a little, a little too much. He, like, literally tells people to fuck off. Well, you can get it for 20. You go over there and get it. Get the fuck out of here. Fuck you. Get the fuck out of here. I'm like, I would not approach that way. But, like, there's a kid that was selling jewelry down the block. And I worked at the other scud joint down the block. He's a California kid, I guess, skateboarder. And he put the term, keep pushing. He's like, all right, if you're going to play out the price, keep pushing. And I'm like, I kind of do it like that. Like, I'm like, all right, whatever, man, keep pushing. And then I'm like, oh, no, no, I'll pay the price. But he like, kinda, he, I haven't told him this like in person yet. Maybe this video is a bad way to go about it. I'll tell him about it next time I see him. But yeah, I mean, certain people you can tell him to go fuck off, you know? He's a tough kid, too, you know what I mean? Like, I guess if he feels he can physically handle that situation, he can tell him straight up, fuck off. I don't want to get into any physical conversations. I just tell him, man, keep pushing. All right, man, peace. All right, go that way. Go that way. Like, I tell him in, in subtle ways, like, all right, whatever. There's so much traffic down there, man, you know what I mean? It's just like, Listen, I could be talking to this guy right now and finessing him and selling his shit. And I, I did it so many times tonight. We had a great fucking night. Labor Day weekend. Shit. Well, nah. March Madness is better. But, yeah, we slung over like 3500 bucks. Shit. Finally making over 150 bucks in tips. Like, we're finally, like, getting back to uh, rolling. Rolling. You know what I mean? And trying to get my finesse back. You know what I mean? But there are subtle ways to tell people to go fuck himself that I guess I learned. Well, he probably learned them too, but like I said, like he probably understands some people like, hey, just get the fuck out of here. You've been a dick. Fuck you. It, I didn't see the whole situation tonight. But yeah, one guy was just like, hey, get the fuck out of here. Go. Get the fuck out of here. You no, know, that guy said he's going to sell for this. And he's like, we got the same point of sale, same owners, same company, same price. Get the fuck out of here. Why? You're talking out your fucking ass. The fuck out of here. And I respect it, you know? Plus, if anything would have happened, I would have jumped in and I had to punch somebody in the face, and I don't want to punch people in the face anymore. But I will. But I will. <laughs> Can and will. Since I haven't punched somebody in the face in a while, I don't mean I know how to do it. I know how to do it. <laughs> Done it several times. So, long ass video. I don't know. The Bronx is back. And it sucks. I fucking hate it. I hate having to be. What I used to be. But downtown, I guess I have to be what I used to be. And don't take no shit off nobody. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of here. Fuck guy. Fuck out of here.